Well, hello there! It's Queen Tent. Welcome to another speed build this week. As the title suggests, I'm building an affordable family house. Modern family house. Uh, this was not actually the plan. I was supposed to actually release either a penthouse, I mean, like the fashion district. If you follow me on Twitter, I tweeted a picture of it uh, while I was building it, or um, the where the karaoke is in San Maisuno again on the fashion district. I'm kind of building them all there. So I wanted to build something modern for this week and these two options were the best because I am so close in actually um, building the entire San Maisuno so I am so excited to actually, you know what, complete an entire world and you know, I can actually place everything I want there and be made by me. I think that's something really amazing. I did that quite a few years ago um, in Newcrest I did all the buildings there and it was so tiring because I did it within like a month <laughs> even though that's that's close to I think a year now <laughs> I'm building San Maisuno but like there are only these two buildings and then the rest are apartments so I wanted to build one of these two but I started I had started building the mall quite a while ago and the thing is i don't like how i made it look up to like i've built the entire exterior and i don't like it so i'm not really inspired to do that uh because i don't have any other better idea on what to do there and i started building the uh, why well, keep forgetting its name um the penthouse um but the thing is i'm not really good at building penthouses because i feel like penthouses should probably kind of match the rest of the building and someone already made like an apartment a penthouse i guess i should probably say that matches the rest of the building so i have to come up with something creative and <laughs> Well, it turned out it be it was pretty huge, and it had so many like um, things to actually furnish and decorate, and I was so not in the mood to do either of these two. Uh, so I had in my mind for quite a while now to build two different builds: one affordable. Um, modern house and another one like classic house and last week if you saw the video I mentioned that I tried to make the build affordable but that was not the case because it ended up costing 140 I think something like that simoleons uh, and that's pretty big and next to this house I built another contemporary I don't recall how I named it house and I love it like I love it to death I think it looks so cool and it has room for two seems like the parents and a teen girl room and the boy room so basically that and again it costs around the same price as the previous build that I did so I'm not really good at keeping things in a budget um so i really wanted for quite some time now to build something affordable and i was just had it you know in my list to actually build it and i thought you know what <laughs> if it's gonna be affordable it means that i don't have to do much decorating i don't have to do like it won't be huge like you know that's probably a rule because if it was huge then uh, it would probably cost a lot so this house, I wanted to aim for 50,000, but it ended up costing 70, which I think, again, it's a pretty good budget price for a house that can fit the parents. And then we have a twin room plus a toddler room. So you can fit up to five sims there, 
which I think it's really good considering that the house next door costs the double money and you can fit again four sims. I mean, you could fit, I think, five because I used the double bed there. But yeah, it's like half the price and I'm really happy how it turned out. It's not really minimal, but then again, it kinda is. Like, I did not strive to make it minimal um, since I wanted to be a family home um, and usually they get pretty messy <laughs> especially if you have a toddler and twin kids I think at least uh, so yeah you will see I put decorations here and there but then it's pretty simple because I didn't have much money to put on decorations um, and as you see I use the tip like, not cheap cheap, but budget, I guess it should probably say, fridge and um, stove, because I was not gonna use this, to be completely honest with you. Um, and I was like, well, I have to keep this in budget. So, yeah, even here, I didn't, again, sew the landscaping, because, well, it was nothing interesting, rather than just putting stuff up. Um, originally I was going to use like those square hedges, uh, but these didn't work because they were too expensive. I think they were three or four times the price one square of flowers costed, uh, so that was not a good thing. Uh, so just to, yeah, I said so so many times and I just said so again. Uh, so to make it like filled with flowers and not like super boring and stuff I had to put these flowers up just to make them look like fuller and not super expensive and stuff so yeah the living room is quite tiny and the layout that I had to work was kind of weird through the entire house like you can see the kitchen is pretty big for a kitchen uh, the dining room though it's tiny and then I had this entire wall here, as you saw, I already expanded the size of the house. And then I had like this weird, like, sort of space to create a living room, and I was not sure what to do. So the living space actually is very tiny, but I play tested everything, uh, and you can actually fit five sims there, which I think is the goal. <laughs> like, three sims can sit in the couch normally and you can fit one in the bench and one in the chair so five sims there because i really wanted to make sure at least the entire family can sit in the freaking living space um and you know you can see it's tiny like it's so compact everything in this house is like soft in a place uh because it was so small but i could not really afford to make it look bigger because then i had to use more windows and then I had more space so I would have to put more furniture in and all of that stuff so uh, yeah plus you know it was modern so for me it was kind of a challenge because at this point I'm just like well let's build something classic and next week I'm actually hopefully hopefully going to release the house from modern family I've done Two of these and what is left is Phil Dunphy's house if you watch Modern Family, if not, that's okay, you don't even care. Um, but I'm hopefully going to release that. Like, I have one week to work on that, plus I have to work. Uh, but I don't know, I really hope that I can release it. I have to like go through every episode and I don't know actually if there is plan, but I feel like I actually think there is a site, I don't recall the name of it, but I feel like I used it um, in another one of these two houses. Like either Phil Dump, not Phil Dump, it's like Glory and Princess House or Hammond Mitchell's house, I'm not so sure. But you know, they had few pictures, but getting the layout correct. Um, Seeing how the bedrooms and everything has changed since the final season, like the last season, it's not actually the last, there is one more. Plus I think there is like somewhere a tour, 
So I have to go through a lot of files and do a lot of research to actually get everything <laughs> to point perfection. Which, you know what, you see the house and you're like, oh yeah, that's cool, that's cool. And you don't really think how long these houses take. Originally, I was releasing one of these houses every month. Like, a house from... So it seems. But then I realized how effingly long it takes. And it straight up removes all joy from building. Um, if you do that every month. So, it's... It's very time consuming and I really wanted to do Sherlock. So I've seen, uh, I don't know, I've seen that in someone's video as a comment that they wanted Sherlock to build someone's Sherlock apartment. And I'm like, oh, okay. So since I was doing, like I am doing, I guess, houses from shows, I thought, oh, that might be a cool idea since, you know, they haven't done that and that was at least four months ago. So don't think that I will be stealing anyone's idea. Um, and so I researched the house and I found out there's so many inaccuracies in that house. And it's like, well, that's cool. <laughs> so I had to like, I don't know, I was not a Sherlock fan when I like research that so it would be even harder for me I've done the full house house <laughs> which was quite easy I'm not I've never seen full house in my life I have no idea apart from this and like clips and when it was released in Netflix it was like a whole buzz around it uh, but I've never seen it and I really want to but it's kind of a really old TV show so I'm like do I really want to see that because the quality is going to be quite bad? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, but there was straight up an entire plan with pictures and everything, so I didn't have to research anything. Uh, but in Sherlock's house, there's like, oh, you know what? You don't know if Sherlock or his partner sleep together and you've never seen the second or third floor, however you want to like number them of the apartment so you have no idea how that looks and I'm like are you fucking kidding me <laughs> like it was annoying it was straight up annoying <laughs> um and so me and my boyfriend like it's an every night when it's time for bed uh we watch like an episode of a tv show and then we go to bed um and when it's like TV series season, which is like from September to usually May, I guess October, uh, we don't have time to even watch like all the TV shows that we're watching within a week. <laughs> so it's pretty bad. Uh, but now that it's summer and the only TV show that we had to watch was Game of Thrones, it was like, oh, well, <laughs> what we're gonna do? So we have picked like few series to start and uh, one of them was Sherlock, but I saw like the first episode, it was one and a half hour and I was like, <laughs> nope, <laughs> nope. So we were avoiding that for three months or something like that. Um, and we finished, we started like, Brooklyn 99 uh, and we finished that and then it was like well what if you were gonna watch and he's like well I haven't picked any so you two and I'm like oh okay okay I'm like well let's just watch Sherlock <laughs> like it's kind of let's just let's just watch Sherlock and I'm like it's an every day after that all I wanted to do was watch Sherlock and I loved it to death it was Oh my god, so good. <laughs> and now it's over and I'm like, well, now I have to wait. And Game of Thrones ended, so I have to wait for that. And my entire point for that is that I love the TV show and I might try to do Sherlock, but then again, I kind of hate all the inaccuracies. And I haven't like watched the previous 
I guess, TV series. Because when I mentioned to my mom that I'm watching Sherlock, she's like, Oh, but that's such an old TV show, how are you watching that? Because I have kind of an unwritten rule, which is so weird, and I know that I'm gonna get judgment by it, but I don't really care. I don't really wanna watch shows or movies before I was born. It's stupid, I know, because there are so many good movies <laughs> I released before I was born, so... There's that. <laughs> like, it's stupid, I know, but... Mm. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't seen any TV shows before I was born. Like, Friends is the only TV show that was, I think, released when I was born? It was in 94, like, I guess the year that I was born. So, yeah. <laughs> It's weird, but that's kind of a rule of mine. Um, and I'm pretty sure that you will be able to see the apartment there, so I don't, I don't know. Whatever, let me tell you about this build a bit. Um, this is the twin bedroom. Um, as, as I guess you can see. So I was trying to make a cool bank bed because as you can see the space is quite small. And even though I could easily like to slime one bed next to the other, I felt like, well, what's the fun in that? Um, so I decided to be a bit more creative and try and build a bank bed. Um, and I really like how this one turned out to look like. I used these new decorations from the taller stuff pack, which I was so sure I'm never gonna use <laughs> ever again since I built like the play date cafe. So I was like, well, this is never gonna be used again, so screw that. Um, well, that's a lie, because I always use them. Uh, you will see this week, I did, I think you will see this Thursday, I built a house, a modern house. No, it was not modern, that's a lie. A family, ha a family apartment, which I put, like, the little play doll house. Uh, that came with the toddler stuff pack and whenever they place like that to 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 it's not a toddler like the dollhouse whatever um whenever I place this dollhouse I'm instantly like okay let's put these logs there but hey I put it somewhere else so that's amazing and they were so cute because like they had this little ice cream thing and the toy test had also this ice cream thing and I'm like oh my god that's so cute so I wanted to go with an ice cream theme but then I realized we only have ice creams <laughs> uh so I didn't really want to actually put ice creams because I feel like they are going to go bad and you know that wouldn't be fun so here is the toddler room um because in the sims we don't care much about babies and because now like the play dates released i'm all about uh having families with toddlers and i feel like there's no way i'm the only one <laughs> there is no way so i decided to like build a toddler room that also has a nursery in it because having a separate nursery is like uh, why then i will have to like transform it into a toddler room and then after that i will have to transform it into a kids room and yeah i decided you know what let's incorporate it let's just you know it's just a corner with the bassinet and this little bunny which i feel like it was so cute like so cool, colorful if I can probably properly talk, talk, which I obviously can't. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. It's more like towards a kid, I guess, with the butterflies and the flowers and the roses, and a bit with the pink, at least as stereotypes come and go. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I really like it. I think it's super cute. Ah um, man, it has its own private bathroom. Initially, I was planning into having this as the master bedroom, but when I saw the layout, I realized that I could easily fit another bedroom downstairs. So it didn't really make sense to me to have the kid downstairs and then the parents upstairs and then the other kid upstairs. Like, why would you do that? Like, you would have an entire floor with the kids 
and then you would have downstairs the parents so yeah it had like that space i was like well i don't really want to not have a bathroom so i created to the toddler its own separate bathroom and <laughs> it's weird but it does not have a toilet i thought hey why not why put a toilet since he has his own potty but then i realized that they would have to install a toilet just to <laughs> like when the kid grows up which makes no sense because when you build a house you build the toilet it doesn't matter if the toilet is into a toddler's room or if it is into a baby's room one day he's gonna grow up and you will have to use the toilet so can you really thought that through <laughs> yeah not really not really uh you will see around the house that i try to play a bit with more neutral tones and pastels because i feel like they are more calming especially in modern environments i feel like the bright colors go into classic houses because they cut you around you're like bam that's that's very like bright but when you're in a modern house everything is like more toned down um and more calm at least in my mind so that's why i'm using a lot of neutral colors and a lot of what am I looking for? These pastels. Um, here in the backyard, I wasn't really sure if I wanted to create a backyard because I knew it would up the budget, the price of the house a bit. So I was like, do I really want to do that? I'm not sure. Uh, but I decided, you know what? Let's just do a very simple backyard. And I used the log thing. I keep using that since I think the house next door was the one. I'm pretty sure I used that in that house um, and I loved it so I'm like ever since then I put it in every house that I have even though I don't really use it like I don't like the fact that my sims could burn from it so yeah you can see in those screenshots the couch back there yeah that that's really fun <laughs> I removed it like I soft it a bit forward so yeah if you want to download that there will be a link in the description down below as we'll hope for because i'm not really good at putting links and uploading houses unless i do it when i finish the house which i never do so yeah <laughs> anyways that's the house i tried to create something within a budget and make it like affordable for the family because i feel like oh god I hit the microphone. Everyone creates um, houses for either a starter or super expensive, and there's no in between. <laughs> so I feel like, you know what? Let's try and like fill that gap. Let's just at least try that. So I don't know. I hope you like it. Uh, and into it as much as I did, which was way easier to build than the penthouse. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you will have an amazing day and take care. Bye!